Our investigations of the Roswell Police Department have reverberated across the nation and around the globe. We broke the stories of a driver arrested for speeding on the flip of a coin, a police dog attacking a young suspect, and a 13-year-old boy who was intentionally left in the cold Getting cold yet? Because I've got heat in this car. to extract a confession, all in Roswell. Tonight, there's more, more body camera footage with intentionally muted microphones and hidden documents all showing a police department that treats its officers far different than the citizens they're sworn to protect. A Roswell police officer pulls over a speeding car before discovering the driver is a buddy from the same department. Hey, it's Ramuna. Hey, man. Hey, what's sorry, man. What are you doing? I just hit it for a second. Officer Danny Ramuno was stopped for speeding and reckless driving. I just I just hit it for a second, I'm sorry. You know what kind of position you put me in? No, I'm sorry. Because I can tell you've been drinking, man. I only had a drink, I'm sorry. You only had a drink? That's it. Put your feet together. I'm not doing any field sobriety. That's fair. So but that's what it is. Okay, that's that's perfectly fair. You know that's you're right to do that. Officer Johnny Burnett calls for a supervisor. She's been drinking. But when the lieutenant shows up... Street on run. It's okay. You are. Okay. The officer cuts the mic on his body camera. Where's the sound? It's gone. Why would they do that? Because they're going to let him go. Stay in the car. Sarah Webb knows what it's like to be pulled over by Roswell police for speeding and reckless driving. Turn off the car and pass me the keys, please. Two officers arrested her on the flip of a coin. A head, R tail. Okay. <laughs> Step out of the vehicle. Turn off the chance bank, back. <laughs> Before any of these stories broke, we showed her the video of Officer Ramuno, also stopped for speeding and reckless driving, but unlike Webb, let go with a verbal warning. I'm put me in a bad spot. It's not, it's not, it's not your fault. I'm not mad at you. They never raised their voice at him. They were very kind, gave him a break, yet the second that I started talking to her, it was just hostility. Take a look at the two stops side by side. Stay in the car. Sorry, my window doesn't hold. Off the Brown Roswell Police Department. You know how fast you were just going, ma'am? I'm so sorry. I'm late for work. Hey, it's Ramuna. Hey, ma'am. Hey, what's well, sorry, ma'am? Turn off the car and pass me the keys, please. You know as well as I do, with no tests and the only evidence is some bloodshot, watery eyes, but you're crying about your sister, it wouldn't look good in court anyways. So there's no way that this would be useful at all. It wouldn't help you. It wouldn't keep anybody safe on the road. I mean, you're already hung. But you have got to talk to somebody now. Were you given any benefit of the doubt like that officer was? No. Did they ask you what was going on in your life? No. Two wrongs don't make a right. If we were, if we were wrong with, 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 with Sarah Webb, like I, I say that we, we are, had we taken Daniel Ramuno to jail just because he was a Roswell police officer, that would have been wrong too. Chief Rusty Grant has no problem with the way Roswell police handled the stop of one of their own. I imagine you're doing a code five. Now I have the case number. Or the fact the case number was voided and replaced with a hard to find internal memo. Why no police report? Why no incident report? Typically if we write a warning, or, or, or something similar to that. We don't write an incident report. Do you, do you always write a memo? Do you always have the no, officer don't. write a memo? No, no we don't. And, and actually, so why, why write a memo that isn't easy to find in public records well, what and, for, and not write an incident report that is easy to find in public what, records? What, what we for, it wasn't to, to try to keep the, the information from anybody because to be... This know, was withheld from me until I specifically asked for it. Right, well, the, the open records folks wasn't aware that that, that existed because they typically search a database and that wasn't within the database. And then was that in the intent of not having an incident report? No, there was no attempt to, to cover this up or to hide this at, at, at all. Why mute the body cameras then? That, that's, that, that's a good question. You want this one paused too? It doesn't matter. I don't even know how to pause this thing anyway. The body cameras were muted. We asked for all video, and the records department only gave us the body cam. And for a month more, we tried to get the dash cam, and it was refused, refused, refused. They didn't even respond to us. It turns out the dash cam caught some of the missing audio. That's right. Officer Burnett's wireless mic was still recording on the dash camera. We had to threaten a lawsuit to get this video, and now you can hear what they were hiding. What do you want to do? He's already admitted he's been drinking. 
drinking when he went to hand his, his girlfriend his wallet. He fell up against the car. And I told him, I was like, man, you put me in a bad Right before deciding to let Officer Ramuno go, they cut all the mics a second time, a feature the body camera vendor prohibits by default. Roswell police commanders had to actively choose to enable muting department-wide. Officers are muting their dash cam, muting their body cam to talk about another officer and whether they're going to arrest him. There is only one reason to do that, and that's to avoid public scrutiny. You know, we're, we're doing it the way that we, we think we, we should do it. We're not trying to, to, to hide anything, but, but it's not a, a cover-up. He's not going to do anything. I'm, par I'm parking the car. Police park Officer Ramuno's car for him because, according to the internal memo, the two passengers were also intoxicated. Just keep, it, keep in mind, yep, I have a camera on, so just don't say anything. I'm not saying a word. A Roswell police dog biting a passenger who had bailed out of a stolen car and then gave up. Handler literally should have hooked that dog up right there. Right there is where he made his mistake. And everything went downhill from this point forward. Oh, this is the scene today. Police wouldn't give us the dash camera video until this year because technically the case was still open. But now we can look back two years through a window in time to what police say was the critical moment. First, the officer says, come here, play. Come here right now. Fast forward. <laughs> then the officer says, get down on the ground, play. Get on the ground. But the officer doesn't say, get down on the ground on your stomach with your hands out. So the teen instead decides to sit on this curb behind a bush. Then he puts his hands up. But police say putting his hands up and hands down behind the bush constituted furtive movements that triggered the dog to deploy not only on his own without a command from his handler, play, but also against the commands of his handler. Fast forward. What follows are 18 commands of off. Yet the dog continues to attack. Then right here, the leash breaks and the dog goes back and grabs his hand and holds him now for another eight seconds. Two attacks, no commands to apprehend, ignoring all commands to stop. The dog nearly biting his own handler in the end. You don't normally see the dog come off of a bite of a suspect and then go after the handler. He has received additional training, and I can't tell you it's because of that specific incident, but it was around that, that time. Police Chief Rusty Grant's command staff cleared the officer and the dog, writing in their use of force review, no training issues observed. The canine responded as he should, and canine Robbie did just as he had been trained by knowing when to apprehend a subject for unacceptable behavior. If you can't control your dog, you're a liability. You are a liability magnet. You're going to get sued, you're going to hurt people, and your agency is going to write. Roswell police pull over a golf cart in the middle of a January night. How old are you? I'm 13. You're 13? Do you have ID on you or anything like that? What are you doing out here at 13 years old? Oh, I think he totally stole it. <laughs> you can see ice clinging to the boy's arms. Weather records show it was 17 degrees, headed down to a low of 12. God dang, it's cold. Officers warm up inside their heated cruisers. Oh, it's so cold. It's cold out there. It's chilly, right, chilly. Right. Again, you're not under arrest, I'm just detaining you, okay? And at first, Officer Cheryl Dickerson puts the boy in her heated patrol car. I've got a 13-year-old detained right now. I'm going to jail for nothing. I didn't say you were going to jail. I said you were detained, okay? We're trying to figure out... I'm going to jail because you always go to jail. That's not true. He's not going to tell you the truth. He hasn't told you the truth since he met you. Yeah, so I don't know, but he's 13 yeah. from what I can tell. And I mean. he's 24. Yeah, I think there's some issues there. Yeah. I'm going to say, listen to me. <laughs> I don't, I'm not asking you what you go by. I'm asking you what your name is. 
Well, I'm about lost my patience. I mean, he's lying to you. Yeah, I'm going to call Sergeant Elsie. Sergeant Daniel Elsie is called to the scene. Oh, the sergeant immediately gets in the patrol car with the boy, turns off the heat, puts all the windows down, then sits in a cruiser with heat. Yeah, he can't say anything if it's warm. Oh. So he can sit over there and be cold. Okay. That's why I rolled your windows down. Let him get a little chill. Officers laugh in their warm patrol car. <laughs> <laughs> while the 13-year-old boy is left to freeze. Getting cold yet, Ann? You can take it. Cool. So can I, because I've got heat in this car. He's freezing him out. Yeah, I can see your breath. It's pretty cold back there. Keep telling me. Is it cold in the car, you're asking? Yeah. Yeah, it's freezing in there. Well, he's got all the windows rolled down and the heat off. you got to hang tight right here, since you can't remember Mom's phone number. And if I can make fun contact with mom then we'll get some heat going all right then officer dickerson cuts the mic on her body camera i'm gonna mute this uh, i'm gonna mute this Sergeant Greg Fryson shows up and takes Sergeant Elsie for a walk. Records show he put a stop to the abuse. Right, Come on out. Your head. Did we find out where mom was? Yep. This video was viewed more than a dozen times by Sergeant Elsie's supervisor. In the latest annual review, the lieutenant wrote, Sergeant Elsie did make a poor decision regarding the safety of a suspect, a poor decision that was not in line with department values. But supervisors also wrote, Sergeant Elsie sets a very positive example and gave him higher scores than the year before, much higher than Sergeant Fryson, who was credited with confronting him. Sergeant Elsie wasn't punished. He was rewarded with Supervisor of the Year. That's Police Chief Rusty Grant last April, who also signed off on the annual reviews in May. No internal affairs investigation of the January incident was launched until July, days after we demanded copies of this video under the Open Records Act. Chief Grant, when did you first learn about the intentional freezing of a 13-year-old boy? I've, I've told you that, that you know, the investigations, uh, that instance being investigated, and you know, I'll get back with you when the investigation is complete. With respect, sir, there was no investigation for seven months until we asked for the video. Is that correct? I, I'm not. There, there was an investigation, but beyond that, I'm not going to comment on that. The supervisor of the year is now on paid administrative leave, but his picture remains on the wall of police headquarters right under the chiefs. Can't you be honest with the people of Roswell and say when you learned? Was it before you handed Sergeant I'm not, I'm Elsie? Not being, I'm not being dishonest or, 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 or trying to avoid your questions. It's just, this is an active investigation. and that's Are you under practice. investigation? If you're not under investigation... No, I'm not when you learned of this, the should incident, be immaterial. The incident's under investigation. The day after we demanded internal memos from the police department, the chief personally asked the GBI to criminally investigate his own officers. Roswell City Attorney has used that criminal investigation to keep secret the memos that would prove what the police chief knew and when he knew it. You handed Sergeant Elsey. The, the, Supervisor the, of the Year in April. Did you know before that? It's a simple yes or no question. I wasn't aware of all of the circumstances surrounding the incident. But you knew of the incident? I was aware of, of an incident, but as, with all the specifics of the incident, I was not aware of all of the specific I information see. in the incident. The police chief knew when this photo was taken of the incident that is now the subject of a criminal investigation by the Fulton County DA. I feel violent. Well, we don't care. We feel violated and sent law to us. Three officers have been fired. The police department's supervisor of the year was demoted. The deputy chief suddenly retired. And this morning, the chief of police resigned. You're going to be arrested for trespassing for showing up to a police award ceremony? If they don't want you in there. Well, the only people who aren't allowed in are the press. No. Did you check invitations? No. He's not pressing. This He's is not outrageous. Pressing. You know it's outrageous. You don't have any in. right to go to a ceremony. We don't have any right to go to a no, meeting where the public don't. is no. present and city council members no. are present in it's city hall. It's a private hall. invited meeting. Do you realize the chutzpah of a public official saying we can't be in city hall? Your garbage with reporting doesn't do anything about this. Garbage reporting. Is yes. there something we've gotten factually wrong? I'm not saying there is or isn't. You're calling our reporting garbage reporting? I have no problem with you myself being in there. You just said, call our reporting garbage reporting counselor. Yeah, if you're trying to say that you're entitled to be in there, then it is.